Yep, today it's all about Diana's royal wedding. Just before the I do's, there were some nerve-wracking issues with the wedding dress. Keep watching to find out more. Also, the wedding of the century almost didn't happen at all. And what delicacies were served to the guests? Welcome to Princess Diana the channel. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you like, leave a comment and spread the love. On July 29, 1981, Lady Diana Spencer stepped out at St. Paul's Cathedral with her father, Earl Spencer, to say I do to Prince Charles. Watched by 3,500 guests and 750 million people on television. The wedding took place just five months after their engagement. It still is the most watched royal wedding of all time. Like a real-life fairy tale, 20-year-old Princess Diana arrived to the wedding ceremony in a horse-drawn carriage. She almost arrived on time for the 11.20 a.m. ceremony. Her chosen dress was a silk taffeta gown with 80 puff sleeves and a 25-foot train, the longest in the history of royal wedding dresses, embellished with 10,000 sequins and pearls, reportedly costing 90,000 pounds. The dress was designed by husband and wife design team David and Elizabeth Emmanuel. There was just one issue. The 25-foot train didn't quite fit in the carriage. The train had to be folded like a bedsheet to make it inside, resulting in wrinkles as she entered St. Paul's Cathedral. The dress wasn't white but dyed ivory. A matching umbrella was created just in case of rain. Diana's silk shoes with hearts on top took six months to make and had a low heel so she wouldn't be much taller than her soon-to-be husband. The designers knew details of Diana's wedding dress couldn't leak to the press before the big day. They would even create false trails by putting the wrong fabrics in the garbage for the press to find. And there was an extra dress just in case. The Emmanuels were prepared for any scenario, even a wedding day accident. They had an entire backup gown ready in case the design was leaked before the big day. The young princess accidentally spilled some perfume on her dress as she tried to put some on her wrists after getting dressed. And yes, there were some spots to be seen. Diana tried to cover them several times with her hands as she approached the altar. At 10.50 a.m., Prince Charles walked up to the aisle with his best man, his two younger brothers, Princess Andrew and Edward. Diana's walk up to the aisle took three and a half minutes. Among the guests was Camilla. When walking in, Diana reportedly spotted the pale grey pillbox head of Camilla among the crowd. Later, Diana revealed her wedding day was the worst day of her life. She'd had doubts throughout her engagement about marrying the prince. Days before the wedding, Charles told Diana he still had feelings for his former girlfriend, Camilla. But he reassured Diana that from now on, there would be no other woman. That didn't ultimately soothe Diana's fears, though. She discovered a number of gifts exchanged between Charles and Camilla, including a gold chain bracelet. At that point, Diana even thought about not attending the wedding, but her sisters told her to pull through. Her face was already on teacups and tea towels. It was just impossible to call the wedding off. The Queen seemed to be very happy with her son's wedding. That day, she smiled a lot and even wiped away some tears during the service. According to Diana's brother, the princess was suffering a cracking headache caused by the wedding tiara. She wasn't used wearing one. There were a few hiccups as the couple made their vows, with Diana getting the order of Charles's name wrong. I, Diana Francis. I, Diana Francis. Take thee, Charles Philip Arthur George. Take thee, Philip Charles Arthur George. To my wedded husband. To my wedded husband. At 1.10 p.m., 
The royal party arrived at Buckingham Palace and waved from the balcony, where Charles and Diana kissed. Then at 2 p.m., the couple and 120 guests went to have a wedding brunch. The menu included brilliant lobster sauce, chicken, and strawberries with clotted cream. The couple also served 27 small wedding cakes. The big official one was baked by David Avery. The multi-layered fruit cake was decorated with Charles's coat of arms. The pair's actual first dance song has never been officially confirmed, but Charles and Diana reportedly turned to Lester Lennon and his orchestra to kick off their wedding reception. As we all know, the fairy tale wedding didn't end happily ever after. The royal couple separated in 1992, followed by their divorce in 96. Diana's death in 97 in a car crash in Paris caused deep distress and rocked the monarchy. In 2014, according to Diana's will, her wedding dress was passed down to her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you next time.